Here we have a word problem that involves a quadratic equation, or so it tells us. Uh, let's read the problem and see what we can do about trying to figure out the right equation here. It says the length of a rectangle is seven meters less than three times the width. Okay, so one of these phrases that relates one thing to another, in this case, length and width. That will probably come in handy uh, a little later, but let's read the rest of the problem. The area of the rectangle is 66 meters squared. Find the dimensions. Okay, so we want to find the dimensions. That would be the length and the width. So those are the two things we're looking for. We know the area, and area is length times width. So we know that that's 66. So 66 is the length times the width. The other thing we know is this big complicated chunk. And let's see if we can, can suss this out here. It says the length of a rectangle is, is is usually our uh, equal sign. So this is saying length equals, and then we have seven meters less than three times the width. This seven meters less than, that means to subtract seven at the end. Let's look at this chunk, three times the width, that would be three times W. And then we'd subtract that seven meters. So. The length is three times the width, but seven less than that. So this is the equation we get. Once we've got that, we can take this, it equals L, so we can substitute it in for L right there. If we did that, we would have 66 equals 3W minus 7 times W. And when we distribute this W, multiply it by the 7, multiply it by the 3W, we're going to get a quadratic equation. So this will give us w times 3w would be 3w squared and minus 7w. This is a quadratic. The highest power of our variable is the squared power. So that fits. To solve a quadratic, to find out what that w is, which is going to give us the, the width of our rectangle, we want to set the thing equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 66 from both sides. That's going to give me on one side 3w squared minus 7w, and then minus 66, and that equals 0. OK, so I think the trickiest part was coming up with this equation in the first place. The second trickiest part is factoring this. Uh, I think this is factorable. We have a leading coefficient of 3, um, which you know could be worse, right? Because that means it's 1 and 3 are the factors. So I've got w and 3w. We've got a minus sign here, so I know one of these has to be positive, one of them has to be negative. And then we've got a constant term of 66. And I could list all the factors here, 2 times 33, 1 times 66. I think I'm going to start with um, 6 times 11. I'm picking that because these are sort of more the middle numbers, and our number here is pretty small, so I don't think we're going to have end up with really big numbers here. Um, so let's see if how we can fit in 6 and 11 here. And one of these has to be negative. We've got to get a negative 7. Oh, what if we had a negative 6 here? So that would be 6 times 3w. That'd be a negative 18. And a positive 11. OK, so w times 11 would be 11w. And negative 6 times 3w would be minus 18w. That would add up to negative 7w. So I think those are the correct factors. So let's set each of those equal to 0. w minus 6 equals 0 and 3w plus 11 equals 0. Solve the first one by adding 6 to both sides. We'd get w equals 6. Solve the second one by subtracting 11. That would give us 3w equals negative 11. And then dividing by 3. And we'd get w equals negative 11 thirds. So we, we've got two answers, which happens often when we factor a quadratic. Uh, which one is the right answer? Well, only one of these makes sense in the context of the problem. We're looking for the width of a rectangle. A negative number for the width of a rectangle really wouldn't make sense. So our width has to be 6. So that's the width. We are being asked to find the width and the length. Well, the length here, we can go back to this formula and just plug in the 6. So that'd be 3 times 6 is 18 minus 7. So the length would be 11. And you'll notice the width times the length, 6 times 11, would be 66. That's what they told us in the beginning. So that checks out. So that is how to solve a word problem that involves a quadratic equation.